All right, guys, 24.3 is so much more of a trap than you probably think. On paper, this looks like a simple 10 rounds for time. But the first thing that I thought of when I saw this is these are two completely separate workouts. You got a five round workout and a five round workout. And the second five rounds is a much harder workout, one that we need to respect and approach really intelligently so to set ourselves up to get the best bang for our buck and uh, the best performance that we could possibly get out of that. And in particular, getting as many of our muscle ups as we can in that portion of the workout. In previous videos, we've talked about having three different athletes. If you're an open athlete, your workout is going to be challenging, but it's calculated You're making smart decisions. If you're a quarterfinals athlete, you're paced and you're in control. And if you're a semifinals athlete, semifinals contender, you're looking for the place that you can attack. Where's your strength where you can make a move in this workout? So let's go back to the open athletes. First, how do we approach a workout then? Well, in this one in particular, you got to know what the crux of the workout is. For most people, that is going to be the bar muscle up. For some, yeah, that might be the heavier thruster, but that's something you're going to take away through and be able to, to get some reps at. But for people who can't do bar muscle ups, like you have to set yourself up to be to one have enough energy and enough time to make some bar muscle up attempts on the back half of this workout. So first, you got to identify: can you even do a bar muscle up to begin with? If you cannot, that first five rounds, that is four time, and you got to get the fastest high break time that you can because that is that is your time. That is what you're going to your workout is going to hit. Your score is going to hinge upon. But if you think that you can get a bar muscle up or two or three, you might want to pace that a little smart so that you can get into the back second half of this, this 10 rounds on the, you know, the second five rounds of workout and get as many bar muscle ups as you can. And you want to, so you want to be fresh. You want to have some energy because you want to be able to make some good quality attempts when you get to the bar muscle ups. And then for quarterfinals athletes, you're thinking like, Hey, maybe I could finish this workout. Well, the best way for you to do that, I guarantee you, is to really pace the first five rounds. For the majority, for the majority of athletes, you're going to be spending up to one and a half times longer on the second five rounds than you will on the first five rounds. And I'm talking about total time working on on those individual pieces. So, pace well in those first five rounds. I recommend breaking up the thrusters and the chest bar pull-ups. Even if you're just taking one to two, uh, doing them in one to two sets, taking a two to three second break early on, that's going to give you a lot of, it's going to, it's going to fend off fatigue really well. So that you have a lot of, a lot more energy to give to the heavier thruster and the bar muscle ups. Now talking about the heavy thruster, you're going to want to break that up too. So many times I've seen athletes hold on to a heavy barbell and they pay the repercussions of it when they get to the gymnastics movement because they just expended all of their energy. Be smart, break those up. So you have good quality attempts on your bar muscle ups. It can get those in bigger sets, maybe string a couple together, maybe do a set on broken. And then for athletes where this workout is not a problem where you're a semifinal contender and you're going for a high point, uh, a high score on the leaderboard, you got to know where to attack. You got to know what your strength is. For some people, you're a ninja on gymnastics, so you don't even have to worry about those. It's your challenge to push the barbell pace see if you can get those unbroken and uh, focus on quick transitions to the gymnastics. For others, like, hey, I got an engine. I can just go for days. Well, there, that, that's where you're going to want to push that first workout on uh, of the with the lighter barbell and the chest bar pull-ups because you have an engine, you're gonna be able to recover really well during that one round or that one minute rest between the two five rounders. And then for a stronger athlete who maybe doesn't have as good gymnastics, take the, the barbell as you need and then have a nice calm transition where you're lowering your heart rate, you're bringing yourself back down, big deep exhales, offloading CO2 so that when you get onto the gymnastics, you can do have clean, crisp movement there, but the caveat is you still probably want to break up your chest bar pull-ups early in the round to save your pull capacity for when you get to the bar muscle-ups. Ultimately, guys, I go back to my original statement. I believe that the first five rounds of this workout is a trap. If you go too hard, you're going to pay the repercussion of it in the back half of this workout. Respect the back half of this workout. It's a big workout. It's a big finish. You're going to need some strength and capacity there to be able to complete that with good quality. As always, when you're transitioning, transition really well, be smart, be calculated, focus on controlling your heart rate and your breath. Don't be afraid to take a quick break 
during the, the heavier barbell and the bar muscle ups, oftentimes people will hold on to big sets and then they're forced to break. And that's the one thing that I'll finish with is it is always faster to choose your breaks than to have the workout force you to break. All right, guys, it's an absolute blast getting to do and be a part of your open with you guys. As always, go into the gym, high five your friends, root each other on, give your absolute best, and we'll see you guys on the leaderboard.